So for today, we're going to be looking at the ACDC slash O feedback fence. These, this got asked for not too long ago. Uh, be aware, this is the last exotic video that I'm doing that uh, is in my list. So if you guys want to see more exotics, let me know in the comments below. If not, I will probably start doing the exotics that I was going to be doing. So either way, you guys will see an exotic. But if you do want to see a certain exotic right now, then let me know in the comments below. Also, be aware that if you guys are looking for fashion for the new exotics that came out this season, then that video I already made, it's right here for all of the classes. So if you guys are interested, you can watch them right there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me, links are in the description below. Thank you guys for everything. I really do appreciate it. I say all this now because there's a huge portion of people that are actually not subscribed. So again, like, comment, subscribe really does help and motivates me to make more content for you guys. But it also helps the channel like immensely. So I really do appreciate it. Like I don't say this just to say it. Like I really do appreciate you guys. So other than that, let's just get into it. So the ACDC feedback fence is pretty interesting in the fact that the geometry is super, super cool. I think it looks super cool. I have been a fan of it forever. The only unfortunate part is that this geometry is so distinct that a lot of armor pieces just look really weird with it, especially rounded shape armor. Like if you wear rounded shape armor with this, it's just gonna look super weird. Uh, the escalation protocol armor from obviously a war mine is probably gonna be your best bet to combine it with this set because it's 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 perfect. It's, it's angular as fuck as well. Uh, the other armor set that you can do, which is from D1, which we will get this raid eventually, is the, uh, the Wrath of the Machine raid. We will get that raid eventually in Destiny 2. So once that armor does come back, we will have another option, which I would most likely use the boots, most likely, because I did like the boots. Yeah, yeah, actually, probably the boots. But other than that, uh, angular armor pieces are going to be your best friend, or something that's like blocky as well is going to be your best friend. Try to stick to those two. Do not go for rounded unless there's a specific reason for it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let's actually look at what the exotic does because that's what we usually do first. Uh, Fury conductors, melee hits build energy. Being struck by a melee attack reduces incoming damage and unleashes the energy in a devastating explosion. So this is a pretty fun exotic uh, because in PvP when you're punching people and they're like, well, I'm going to punch you back. That's when it's like, you've activated my trap card your death and they usually will die because it's really really good especially if you're next to like a bunch of enemies and you just going for a punch it's absolutely ridiculous there's certain things you can do you can do like shoulder charges or you can do the the arc one where you like punch down and then you're definitely gonna get punched by someone and then at that point it's over so there's a lot of things you can do with it and it's a lot of fun but yeah titans let me know what you guys think as for the actual exotic look Again, like I said, it looks cool. I think it looks amazing. I, I did talk about this before we talked about the perk, so I won't talk too much. But again, angular pieces, even square pieces are going to be your best friend. As for how it shaders, this is where it kind of gets annoying because when it comes to shadering, uh, there are certain shaders that can hide the red glow. Because if you guys haven't noticed, there is a red glow on the middle plates of the armor for the base look. And for some people, it might be annoying. For me, I kind of worked around it with the first set because you could use different shaders. You can use reds, you can use browns, you can use uh, dark colors as well because there are some shaders that actually do not show the the glow, specifically Echoed Anger. I can barely see it, and that's me actually looking for it. And even sometimes, I think like my brain's playing tricks on me. So like. Echoed, Angles, Echo, uh, Echoed Anger is a really good shader for it. Abyssinian Gold, you can still see the glow a bit, a little bit better than Echoed Anger. But even the Sato Tribe, you can definitely see the red there. Not glowing as much, but you, but you can definitely see it. So just be aware of that. As for the example set, I ended up going pretty hard with this one. Uh, for the helmet, we're using the Deep Explorer helmet because of the angular look of the helmet, specifically the visor. You can see a lot of like edges to it and it's blocky as well for the chest piece the sunbreak plate is an easy choice because it is very angular you might not look at you might not see it now but it's because i'm using rust berry for the shader which is why it makes it super dark but it is very edgy for the boots we're using braid tech snow boots which i don't have to tell you why i'm using this it's also very edgy and i really like the angularity of it 
for the mark or using the ring walker mark because I actually did not know that the ring wa ring walker mark takes off colors and not the actual main color, which is interesting. So for the shader, Rustberry was not my first choice, but once I saw this set, I was like, I have to make it work. I have to make it look good. And the ring walker mark I already had. So before I even put on Rustberry, I looked at it and I was like, if I try to make that, I'm going to have to change the, sh the shader on the mark because usually the mark is white. And when I changed the shader, I immediately fell in love with it. So the only thing I guess people could give me shit is the fact that the yellow glows off for, for some people like on the arms. I personally don't mind it, which is why I went with the deep explorer helmet because the the uh, the lights on the chin, I guess you would not chin the lights on the cheeks are yellowish yellow enough for me to not care about it and the boots also have yellow on the on the bottom as well so for me it's not that big a deal and it's gonna look really cool in dark areas but titans let me know what you guys think you can definitely switch the helmet out for the helmet from the escalation protocol and then just switch out for a green probably one of the gambit shaders because the visor or the the point of the helmet does have a glow which is green and it doesn't change color so just be aware of that as for the ornament, it actually does have an ornament. Um, it's fine. I mean, like endless loop is fine. Like it's a cool ornament. It's just unfortunately a shade a, or it's, a, it's unfortunately a piece that doesn't shade her well. So as you guys can see, it does have like this blue. It does retain a lot of blue. So just be aware of that. There's some shaders you can definitely make work, but it's a lot more annoying than the default look of it. Uh, again, I, I, I'm showing you guys like how Echoed Anger looks, Abyssinian, all of it looks like okay-ish. And then there's some just like, does not look good. So just be aware that if you're like looking for Endless Loop, it does have drawbacks as well. I think the default looks, look not only looks better, but is a lot more manageable. For the example set, I ended up going with something that looks a little slimmer. For the helmet, we're using the Devastation Complex because I wanted a little bit more orange glows with this and i just realized i'm using another piece that has an orange glow uh let me explain why the vanguard burnish steel the only reason i'm using this shader is because it's a really good blue and it's it's a blue that doesn't have much orange the only orange is on cloth usually so for the chest piece psionic strangler plate is really good because i love the fact that the chest piece does take the off color which is black of this shader because the boots, the Deep Explorer Greaves, also takes the off color as well. So that's why I'm using both of those. For the mark, we're using the Wing Discipline just because it's one of my favorite marks. And because this one is not as annoying when it comes to shadering because the, the cloth will always usually just remain that like grayish uh, color. The only color that I really have to worry about is the insignia of the, of the Phoenix in the back which is why I switched out Vanguard Burnish Steel with Spectral Indigo. So that way I can still have some blue on the belt, but the orange wouldn't show up on the back because I didn't want any orange on that. So this is a much more thinner version of the Titan, which I really, really like. And I do break my rule of not having rounded shape pieces because the chest piece is rounded, but that is specifically because I want to combine the off color with the boots, because if I didn't, then the black would look really weird. So. A lot of things are happening in this in this one, but just know that there's reasons for them. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's pretty much it. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, it's links in the description below. If you guys want to see a certain exotic, let me know in the comments below because uh, the next videos, I'm probably just going to cherry pick which exotic I want to do, which is probably going to be a hunter one because we haven't seen a hunter one in a while because we've done two Titan and two warlock ones. So we're going to go back to hunter and then Titan and warlock probably. So. Let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.